y regresamos de este corte comercial en este nuevo segmento eh, va a ser la entrevista en inglés porque nuestra amiga Carolina Corona y Citlali son bilingües entonces le paso hi Carolina hey hey <laughs> um, so we're glad to have you here and to be here. and I like Well, you brought some art. I see that you brought some art, and I, I really love love that. Um, and I just want you to uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself while you're here, and what surprise you have for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you for having me. Um, it's lovely to be here with with all of you this lovely afternoon. Um, so my name is Carolina Corona. I'm a local artist here to the Asheville area. Uh, and I have my own business, it's Corona Fine Art. Um, you can find me at coronafineart.com uh, or Facebook and Instagram as Corona Fine Art. Um, so I am from Veracruz, Mexico. Um, and I moved to Wilmington, North Carolina when I was 10 and I've moved um, to Asheville recently. Um, but my main inspiration is nature uh, and also my culture and my Mexican traditions. Um, so even when you know I was growing up in Mexico, my parents really instilled in me a love for nature. Um, we used to do gardening and we used to have this huge tree in the middle of our yard that I used to climb and just look around me and really was inspired by everything that was going on in, in nature around me um, and in Mexico you know the tropical plants were just so beautiful and interesting to me um, and that just carried over when I was able to come here to the U.S. and um, start studying um, art in school um, I continue to just really uh, grow my love for the outdoors but also my artwork um, and my first painting was actually um, after an afternoon with my dad at the beach he bought me uh, canvas and paint and that was you know the very first painting that I did um, I had done like small art, art projects before in school but never a painting so um, and to this day I have that painting and it's just a great memory of being with my dad in the outdoors um, so nowadays you know with my business I do a lot of um, different things um, I do landscape paintings I do uh, portraits of people uh, as commissions and also pet portraits um, and I also do a lot of cultural and um, Uh, projects, paintings, and also woodcuts. Um, so this is what I, I brought today to show <laughs> you. Um, but I've gotten a little bit more into woodcuts um, and it's just basically a piece of wood that I carve an image into. And this particular one that I brought today to show you is inspired by the Day of the Dead because it's coming up yeah. and uh, growing up it was such a big part of my traditions and my culture. Um, you know, uh, we used to go to the cemetery in Mexico and clean my grandparents' graves uh, and bring flowers and the markets were full of flowers and colors and Everybody was really celebrating um, life uh, yeah. of our loved ones. You know, it's called the Day of the Dead, but really we're celebrating the life of people we love and have lost. Um, so, you know, this is uh, an image of my ofrenda. Um, and just different skulls. I love this time of year because it um, reminds me of my family uh, growing up in Mexico and just um, those traditions that I used to love and still do, uh, even though here I don't see it as much as I used to in Mexico, yeah. but I still am able to Um, remember those things through my artwork um, and uh, equally I'm inspired by the landscape here in Nashville which is so beautiful and I know a lot of local artists are yeah <laughs> so I have one question <laughs> um, so do you as an artist just uh, focus on a, like a certain type of art or you kind of just slowly try to incorporate different styles and mm -hmm. yeah Um, I've actually, you know, as an artist, I really like exploring different styles and mediums. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely my focus is painting um, and I do acrylics and watercolors uh, and also printmaking, uh, which is the wood cuts, the lino cuts and other printmaking processes. Um, that's my main focus as an artist, but I also do photography. Um, I love taking photos of the trips that I have and um, I also like doing um, beaded artwork. So at the market, I usually have 
earrings that are, in, are inspired by my traditions in Mexico. Um, so they are colorful, um, usually have like a range of different bright colors. Um, so I do a lot of beaded jewelry as well. Um, but I've tried other things like I've tried um, knitting, <laughs> uh, which, you know, I don't do very often, but it's just cool to try a lot of different things and see how um, they can inspire, inspire other pieces um, and other um, types of work that I do. Okay. Um, and where can we find you, uh, your uh, social media? Where can we find your art? Where, if they, if somebody wants a portrait or something? Yeah, of course. Um, so I have a website and it's coronafineart.com. Uh, and I also have a Facebook and Instagram, which is Corona Fine Art, and you can find my work there. Um, but I also do some local markets. Uh, one of the markets that I do is at Southside Community Farm. Um, and I love this space. It's a BIPOC market. Um, so there's farmers, there's artists, um, and it's every first Sunday of the month um, from May to October. So the last one will be this October. So it's going to be really fun. And I hope, you know, the community shows up to support uh, local farmers and also by book artists. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. So, much. Um, so there we have it with Carolina. Um, and make sure to go ahead and follow. And you know, if you want a portrait or any kind of painting, just contact her. Thank you.